Have you noticed the attempts to raise the national minimum wage? Sometimes it's frustrating. Sometimes it's met with a lot of resistance. And even regrettably, in the Catholic community, efforts by laborers to organize, to form unions for just wages, have been thwarted. They've been thwarted by management. They've been thwarted by administration. And despite our Catholic tradition, which is amazing, it's so rich that laborers have a right to a just wage, justice doesn't seem to be getting a hearing. Perhaps surprisingly, however, there have been those cities in our nation that have enacted their own minimum wage rates. Some even going so far as to establish their minimum wage at the federal poverty level for a family of four. In some ways, this is not unlike this week's gospel that tells of someone who is not a follower of Jesus casting out the name of, of the demons in Jesus' name. So, these cities, even though they're not officially inside the realm of religion, seem to capture the spirit of Jesus' vision. And even though opponents claim such legislation will bring about a loss of jobs for the consequent lack of sufficient profit, those cities that have enacted such ordinances have not seen this happen. They've seen things improve. Such efforts for just wages echo the call for justice from a long line of rich Catholic tradition. Most recently, Pope John Paul II, Pope Benedict, and Pope Francis. Pope Francis noted this, the justice of social and economic systems is finally measured by the way in which a person's work is rewarded. A just wage is a concrete measure, and in a sense the key one, of the justice of every system. So as Pope Francis comes to the United States, we too look to encourage equality and fairness in how people earn their living.